We were watching Toy Story 3 last night, and in one of the earliest scenes when Woody is trying to rescue his friends from the trash, he gets trapped underneath the dog, and when he gets out, he acts as though he's winded, like he was suffocating. He's a toy. He has no lungs, and therefore no need to breathe, and therefore being trapped under the dog should not be a problem. You know? Um, and then I got to thinking about some of the other movies, the other Toy Story movies. Like, the toys in those get winded too. Like, they get winded, they get tired. So, what's the deal? I don't, I don't understand why that happens. Um, anybody? Anybody got an idea? Um, and I wonder if it's just, I mean, obviously the animators want to humanize these toys. They want to make us feel the same things they feel. But ultimately, they are made of plastic and rubber. And aside from breaking, like losing a piece or breaking, like I don't understand how they can get hurt. They have no nervous system. They have no circulatory system. Um, obviously, I mean, there are things that happen to the toys throughout the course of those three movies that cause them to be disabled. Uh, Lotso, the bear, in the third movie. Goodness gracious, that lighting is terrible. I apologize. Um, he He's limping. He's using a cane. Like, because he fell off of a truck. <laughs> um, so I don't, I don't really understand the idea behind the toys being gassed, as it were. Like, in pain or or losing the ability to do something just because they fell or they bumped into something or they were covered up. Like, being broken, that's one thing. But the other parts, that doesn't make sense. Um, so that's just an issue that I take with Toy Story. Obviously, the bigger issue is that it's a movie <laughs> about animated toys that don't actually exist, so none of this really matters. But, uh... These are the things that I look at and that I think about. So, take it for what it's worth. I'll see you on Monday.